Sixth grade, module one, lesson 28, classwork. Example, if an item is discounted 20% the sale price, what is the percent of the original price? So if it's discounted 20% off the sale price, then what percent is the original price? So if you have, the whole thing is out of 100%. It's discounted 20%. So what's left is 80%. So you're going to pay 80% of the original price. If the original price of an item is $400, what is the dollar amount of the discount? So we don't know the sale price, but we know that something costs $400. And we want to know the dollar amount of the discount. So we're paying, we want to know, let's go back. So the discount was 20%. So we know 20% is 20 hundredths. And now we just need to find the, the missing factor here. So how can we get from 400 to 100? So we can go this way. 100 times 4 is 400. So if we do 20 times 4, we will get 80. So the dollar amount of the discount is $80. How much is the sale price? So if the original price was $400 and it's discounted $80, if we subtract those, we will get $320. So the sale price, it still costs $320. Exercise. The following items were bought on sale. Complete the missing information in the table. So it gives us a bunch of items. We need to either figure out the original price, sale price, amount of discount, percent saved, and percent paid. So let's start with the TV. So the sale price is $800 and 20% was saved. So if 20% was saved, that means that we paid 80% because those total would equal $100, 100%. Now we want to know the original price. So the sale price is $800 out of, we do not know the original price, but we do know that the percent paid, which was $800 or 80%, is out of 100. So we could get to from 80 to 100 by multiplying by 10. So let's do 100 times 10 and we will get one thousand dollars so the original price of the TV was one thousand dollars and then the amount of the discount or the difference between the original price and the sale price one thousand minus eight hundred is two hundred okay sneakers So the original price is $80 and the percent saved is 75%, which means the percent paid, 100 minus 25% would be 75% was paid. Now we know the original price. So the original price was $80, but we don't know the sale price. So the sale price we don't know, but we know the original price was $80. And we know we saved 25% which means that we paid 75%. So you can use either amount, but since I know want to know how much we paid, I'm going to use percent paid to figure out the sale price. So 75% is equal to what out of 80? Now this, I'm going to flip around, and I can't get from 100 to 80 easily but I know 75 one hundredths is the same as 3 fourths. So I'm gonna turn into 3 fourths is equal to what? Out of 80. And four times 20 is equal to 80. Three times 20 would be 60. So that makes the sale price of the sneakers $60. And that would mean that the discount, or however much the difference between 80 and 60 is $20. All right, video games.
Okay, we don't know the original price, but we know the sale price. So we can do 54 out of something. And we know that the percent pay was 90%, which means that the percent saved is 10%. So those two need to add up to 100%. And we need to know the amount of discount and the original price. So since I know the sale price and I know the percent paid, because those are equal, so that's equal to 90 out of 100, now I can't get from 54 to 90, so I'm going to reduce that to 9 tenths, and I'll make it 9 tenths is equal to 54 out of something. And now I can multiply. 9 times 6 is 54, so 10 times 6 is $60. So the original price is $60. And then the amount of discount, or 60 minus 54, would be $6. So 10% off is $6. All right, MP3 player. So the original price, we don't know. The sale price was $51.60. We don't know the discount. We do know that they saved 40%, which means that they paid. 100 minus 40 would be 60%. And the sale price is $51.60. And that relates to the percent paid. So they paid 51.60 or 60%. So I'm going to make it 60 out of 100 is equal to 51.60 out of, we don't know, the original price. Now this one's a little more trickier because it has fractions, or not fractions, decimals. So I'm going to just go ahead and simplify this to 6 tenths. And then I'm going to do 5160 divided by 6. Bring my decimal point up. So 6 can't go into 5, but it can go into 51. Let's see, 6 times 8 is 48, so that's as close as we're going to get. Bring down the 6. 6 goes into 36 6 times. That's 36. We can bring down the 0, but we don't need to. So this is 8 and 6 tenths, or 8 and 60 hundredths. So if I multiply 8 and 6 tenths, I get 5160. So now I'm going to multiply by 8 and 6 ten times 8 and 6 tenths would be equal to... $86. So the original price is $86. We need to know the amount of discount. So let's do $86 minus $51.60. Need to borrow. 10 minus 6 is 4. And 8 minus 5 is 3. So $34.40 is the discount. Okay, next up we have the book. So for the book, the percent paid was 80%, which means that the percent saved is 20. And we only know that the amount of discount was $2.80. So the percent saved, 20%, is equal to the amount of discount, $2.80. So let's do 20% is equal to $2.80 out of something. So we need to be able to get from 20 to $2.80, which isn't easy. I'm going to cancel those out and make it two tenths, but I still can't really easily jump from two to two dollars and eighty cents. So what I can do is I can still reduce two tenths to one fifth, and one is always simple to multiply to get whatever you want. 
because you just need to multiply by $2.80. So whenever you can get the numerator to one, that's gonna be the best chance or easiest chance you have at getting to your solution quickly. So let's do two and eight tenths times five. Eight times five is 40, carry the four. Five times two is 10, plus two is 14. We have one digit behind a decimal point, so I'm gonna move it over one place and we get $14. But what does that $14 represent? So $2.80 was the discount out of the total price. So that means that $14 is the original price. And so now we wanna know what the sale price is. So the original price is $14, they got $2.80 off. So what was the actual discount? 14 minus $2.80. Bring the decimal point down. So they actually paid, oh, that's a three, not a two. So three minus two is one, $11.20. And the last one, snack bar. Okay, so we don't have the percent saved or the percent paid, but we do know that the discount is 30 cents and the sale price was $1.70. So from there, we can find out the original price. We can add those together, $1.70 plus 30 cents, the discount would get us two dollars so it originally cost two dollars now we need to figure out what the percent saved and the percent paid was so we can say that we can do it either way so one dollar and seventy cents out of two dollars is equal to what out of 100 because percents are out of 100. now if we wanted to we can I'm going to multiply these each by 10 so that it's 17 out of 20 is equal to what out of 100? Just so that we're not dealing with decimal points anymore. So I got rid of those two zeros and multiplied by 10. So 20 times five is 100. So 17 times five. Five times seven is 35, carry the three. Five times one is five plus three is eight. So 85 out of 100, it would be 85%. But is that 85% how much they saved or how much they paid? Well, we would used $1.70, so that's how much they paid, the sale price. So 85% is what they paid, which means the remaining 100 minus 85 would be 15% was saved.